Well, hey guys, this is Biffy Guy, and I'm here at the Middle Fork John Roth Memorial on the, uh, the Ozark Trail. Uh, this is a man who was very instrumental in getting the trail completed. It has a wonderful view. It is only about a mile in from the Highway J trailhead. But before you could do a little bit of this, you need to do a little bit of this. Spiffy guy, and as you may have guessed by the title, we're going to be doing some trail maintenance out here on the Ozark Trail. Uh, the trail maintenance is going to happen at the uh, on the Middle Fork section. I'm not exactly sure where, but I'll find out those details later. Uh, currently, I am um, I'm down right by the uh, the Brushy Creek, which is right at the uh, Highway J Trailhead, which is the uh, uh, dividing point between the Carcagney section and the uh, middle fork section. Uh, it's about uh, 2 o'clock and uh, as you can see by the clouds it is uh, very cloudy. Uh, it sprinkled a little bit. There was a few rumblings but this should be the only bad weather that we have this weekend. So I've been through this area already before so this is not really a new area for me but I'm gonna go ahead and cross the uh, Brushy Creek and uh, maybe do a couple miles before I got to meet up with everybody later on this afternoon. Uh, we're going to be camping at the Brushy Creek Lodge. Uh, they got a campsite set aside for us, so that should be pretty cool. And uh, there's a bunch of folks going to show up, and uh, it's just going to be a good time, so uh, stick around. That is one huge mullen plant. As you can probably hear, we have heavy wind, but there's a trident shaped leaf, and there's a mitten shaped leaf, and there's a regular shaped leaf. I'm going to say that this little guy is sassafras. Good way to tell. Either direction that you uh, you head from the uh, trailhead at Highway J, you're going to go up either if you go north into the um, uh, the Middle Fork section or south into Carcagney, you're going to have some elevation gain. But you get wonderful views like this that are slightly obscured by nature. But it's a uh, really heavy wind right now, as you can probably hear, so I apologize if there's any wind noise. And uh, it's about 60, 62 degrees. And it's supposed to have a low of um, 36 tonight, so it's going to be uh, pretty cold. Should be interesting. We had a lot of, uh, a lot of rain yesterday, real heavy rain. Uh, down here and, and up in St. Louis as well. So there's some uh, muddy spots on the trail, but uh, I don't think we have any flooding problems or anything like that. But we're just climbing the mountain. That's what we're here for. It's a good day for hiking. I brought my Alice pack just for uh, for something to do. Um, we're car camping, so I really don't need to uh, carry anything other than water and uh, some snacks and gloves tomorrow. So I brought my uh, my Duluth pack as well, my little uh, day pack. But I figured I'd try this out. I've got my uh, you know air mattress, uh, 20 degree quilt and clothes in the dry bag, and then tarp tent on the side, and then loaded up basically with food and water. That takes up the bulk of the pack. There's not a whole whole lot of room left for anything else, honestly. Uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to get more than three or four days worth of food and water in that, unless you put the water on the outside. But uh, it weighs in at uh, 37 pounds with a uh, a gallon, a little over a gallon of water in there. So it's pretty heavy. I can tell you flat out that the uh, the hip belt is not doing its job. Uh, I just can't get it tight enough to really uh, take the load. So uh, an upgrade to the Molly waist belt may be 
in order. We shall see, but other than that, it ain't too bad. Now this is one of the, uh, the Brushy Creek trails. It's trail number 18. And the Ozark Trail goes that way. I'm deviating from the plan. I'm living dangerously. And that goes further up. So I'm gonna continue to hike up that and see if I can't get some cell phone signal. Just to let my wife know I'm here and, and also see where this trail goes. So just shortly up the hill we hit another junction. You know, a couple choices. All you've got is this little arrow sign. So basically says that that way and this way are the Brushy Creek trails. You know, you can get lost out here. That's what happened to a uh, father and son back in May of last year. They got lost out here on a day where it was like 75 and it dropped to like 20 with freezing rain at night. And uh, they had issues and didn't make it. So definitely be aware of where you're going. I went ahead and turned my GPS on just in case. Not that I'll need it. I just remember that I'm going downhill. But right now I'm going up. Well, once you hit the top of the mountain, there's a little road up here. I think this is the top. Uh, it's a little bald. Definitely get some signal up here. I'm not going to venture on the road. I'll head back this direction, and that way I don't uh, take too much time on the way back to meet up with the uh, the folks over at the uh, campground. But still threatening rain. Be nice if these clouds would break. Holy crap, it's the sun. Oh wait, never mind. It's going away. Who's hungry? I'm pretty darn sure that this is uh, chicken of the woods. I don't know how I missed it on the way up. Probably because I was going uphill. But uh, some good sections. It doesn't seem uh, too woody or anything like that. So. I won't grab any because I'm not 100%, but I'm fairly certain that that's sticking in the woods. I'm not too worried about it. I got a mountain house to eat because that's so much better for you. I'm not sure what this stuff is. I think it's American Beauty. It kind of looks like it. I don't know if there's any other plants that have those clusters of berries like that. Let's see if I can get this to focus. This is a second year mullein. That's the flower stock on it. Uh, one of the plans I had when I came out here um, was to kind of mess around and do some skill stuff before everybody showed up. Uh, one of the things I was gonna do was uh, solar ignition. I brought a couple different uh, magnifying glasses and I was gonna mess around with uh, some solar ignition. One of the things I was gonna try to ignite was some charred uh, material like a uh, punk wood. And with everything so wet out here, I don't know if I'd be able to find any punk wood. And I don't know if I have enough for all of the, uh, the magnifying glasses. I brought like three. So uh, I might uh, take this uh, mullen stock here. It's kind of pithy on the inside and uh, maybe it will char up and we'll see if it works. All right, we're back up at the Highway J trailhead. There's the pasture, it is empty, and the gate is open. I hope they know that and don't let the horses out. But uh, we hiked, uh, I guess, probably about three miles. I don't know, three miles uphill, if that counts for anything. And uh, we're gonna head on over to the lodge now, see if anybody showed up yet. All right, so here's the uh, tarp tent, double rainbow setup. There's really heavy wind, hopefully there's not too much wind noise. So everybody's putting their uh, their cars to kind of block the wind. Um, we've got one person over there with a bridge hammock, oddly enough. She's got a Jacks are better uh, bridge hammock and uh, under quilt. So she'll be hopefully toasty nice and warm tonight. But uh, this is mainly a horse area and there's no, uh, there's no fire ring over here or anything like that. So we'll have to figure out what we're doing tonight. But uh, only restrooms are up at the lodge, so until it gets dark, you can't pee in the woods. So, up to the lodge we go.